please give it up to Stuart Jacobson. Thank you, Frank. That was a great introduction. <laughs> That's for sure. Well, well, well spoken, well said. Uh, I, uh, I, I was living in, in Salt Lake City. Uh, my wife was doing a uh, surgical residency at the University of Utah Medical Center, and I was running a bakery, and we had a two and a half year old kid. Two and a half year kid goes to a daycare center, comes down with uh, something called Giardia. Now, if you don't know what Giardia is, it's an intestinal parasite that uh, causes horrible diarrhea. And, uh, you know, my w wife and I both uh, are, are, have an understanding of sanitary procedures, hy hygienic procedures, and we, you know, dealt with him and we had to take him to the, to, the, to the pediatrician. They got him the right medicine for the Giardia, and, uh, you know, we thought he was cleared, you know, and uh, anyway, so I, Again, I'm telling him I'm running the bakery. It's Monday, the slow day. I take, take that day off because I want to go skiing. There's a ski resort outside of Salt Lake City called Snowbird, which is, to use a hackneyed freight, it's a world-class resort. It's a destination resort. It's got the greatest snow on earth. And I, you know, you know, got up, you know, did my whatever I needed to do in the morning. I go to Snowbird, you know, to ski. And they have a, they have a tram there which is really, it's a cable car. It's a really quick way to get to the top of the mountain. And, uh, you know, it's, it's a Monday morning. Uh, it's the first run of the day. And it, the tram is filled with people who are there. Of course, this is a destination resort. And they're just chattering away. You know, if, if you've ever been at a ski resort, and you know that early in the morning, people are just in a great mood. They're, they're, they they want to be there. They're, they feel lucky to be there. Mm -hmm. And uh, they just want to enjoy themselves. And again, you have this chatter in, 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 the, in, the, in the tram. Now, there may be about 25, 30 people in the tram. There's these big windows. It's beautiful. And at the top of the windows, they have these uh, horizontal slats for ventilation. And it's just, you know, it's just really, you just, it's a great place to be. It's, it's not cheap, but it's a great place to be. And I was starting to go up in the, in the, uh, in the tram, and I'm feeling some unpleasant stuff going on downstairs, basically. <laughs> And I'm saying to myself, you know, I, this can't be, basically. Uh, you know, I th we, we, we got our son through, through the Giardia, and let me just tell you, th th taking a kid still in diapers through Giardia is, use a lot of diapers, let's just put it like that, a lot of diapers. And I realized that, you know, remember that the first symptoms of Giardia is basically the, due to the fact that these organisms are going to work in your intestine and they respire. And just like we respire, we, you know, we put our gas when we respire, these organisms were really supercharged at this point. And I, you know, I break wind, basically, in, in the tram. And this was not just a normal, you know, breaking of wind. This is Giardia wind. And I'm, I'm saying to myself, well, I'm lucky it's just wind, basically. It's not worse than that. But all of a sudden, in, amongst all the chattering and uh, you know, good-natured banter going on, uh, silence. <laughs> Everybody stops. And then I hear people looking around at each other, sniffing, and you get the normal childish responses, you know, who cut the cheese, you know, who, 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 had, who, had, who had beans last night, you know, who farted. Now, I knew the answer to those questions. <laughs> And I, now I have this really difficult moment because, you know, should I be an honorable person? Should I be a decent human being and say, you know, it was me? Or should I just try to, you know, finesse it, basically, elide el 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 the situation? And I had this moment, you know, should I or shouldn't I? Do I or uh, don't I to be or not to be? And all of a sudden I saw myself as a character in a Shakespearean play. And I was sort of elevating myself, you know, in, in, in this basically horrible place at this point. And then I, then I said to myself, well, you know, uh, that maybe let's go a little more f uh, to, into the future. Let me put myself in a, in a French New Wave movie from the 50s where you have the existentialists and you have the essentialists. Now, the existentialists were the people who worried about their existence and they're, they're being gassed to death and they're figuring out a way to jump out of the tram. And the essentialist is somebody who wants to be true to himself with me. And if I wanted to be a true, honorable person again, I, I, I have to say, it's me. 
but that's not me. I am not a, I am not a true honorable person. I just want to get through this. And I'm still like, you know, metabolizing. Or the, the organism is still metabolizing me, so it's not stopping. And it just smells awful in there. Even though it's, it's outdoors and it's moving, it's ventilated, it's still horrible. So I say, I got to break the tension some way. So I, I say, you know, I, I, loud enough for people to hear, that there's got to be a more humane way to commit mass murder. <laughs> and to, 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 to mix a metaphor now, that cleared the air. Well, it really didn't clear the air, but it cuts through the tension. And all of a sudden, people start giggling, they start laughing. They start pointing at me, they say, yeah, 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 you're right, man, it's not so bad, everybody farts, da, 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 you know? I Meanwhile, I'm, I'm holding it in, because this is more than farts coming to me. And so we finally get to the end of the ride, we're getting to the, uh, you know, I'm getting off the tram, and people come over to me, they congratulate me, tell me how funny I am, and they started to pat me in the back. <laughs> now, I gotta tell you, I, I like validation. I, I like support, I like encouragement. <laughs> But not that type of encouragement. And uh, so I, I finally, I, 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 I'm, I'm really tight, tight, I'm really tight ass at this point. Uh, and I, I make it to the nearest bathroom and you know, I, I, I relieve myself the best I can. And I have one run that day, basically. Because I go right, back, right, right down to the, uh, to the base of the resort and get in my car and go home. I get home and I find out my wife is there, which she should have been, she'd been at work, because she had Jardia too. Anyway, thank you. Yeah. I, let me just tell you, it was not funny then, okay? <laughs> okay. <laughs>